Hi, Francisco. Hi, teacher. Pensé que no Where tenía audio. ¿Ah? Pensé que no tenía audio, no lo escuchaba. Ah, uh, yeah. I had uh, muted the audio. Yeah. It was mute. How are you, Francisco? Hi. Um, yes, uh, my day is so good. Really good. What's a, uh, good today? Yeah. yeah. Let me see. Some options here. It's because I have seen some people that they they put some backgrounds. Have you ever seen that? No. No. In Zoom, they they put uh, backgrounds. I mean, behind um, the, you can see like the beach or something like that. You have never seen that. Um, no. Ah, okay, give me a second. We have still one minute. Sorry, it's because my computer has a little charge and the, the charger is in my, my room. Sorry. Gracias. Thank you so much. Okay, it's eight o'clock already. So today is class number 15. Uy. And next week we finish the modulo so fast right very fast very fast okay yeah so we will finish the modulo next week so we're gonna we're gonna enjoy the classes that we have left because you we don't know if you're gonna continue together okay well, uh, good evening, every good evening, good night, everybody. I have uh, five. Okay, Patricia is not here today. I don't know why, because she gets online very, very early. Okay, so right now we're gonna begin with a little activity that I have for you, and is this? Can you see it? Oh, sorry, but I forgot. Can you see this presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes. This presentation, can you see? What color can you see? Light blue or purple? Purple. purple. Okay. Ah, okay. No, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start. I will show you the first the presentation from today's class. Well, today is class number 15. Okay, today is class number 15. And uh, I just want to read the objective for today. So today we're gonna have a little review, okay? We're gonna study more idioms today, okay? To talk about things related to maintenance and, and other things, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about that. So, um, well, the activity that we're gonna have is guess the meaning from the idiom. That's what we're gonna do. Guess the meaning from the idiom. So. I'm gonna stop the share and I'm gonna go to the purple presentation that you saw. That is it. Sorry if it, if, if it says here by Herbert, all right? <laughs> it's not by Herbert, it's, it's by me. Okay, well, so here, <coughs> we, we I'm gonna show you some idioms, okay? So what you're gonna do is you will see the picture, we will read the idiom and you will try to guess the meaning. Okay, yesterday or the day before yesterday, we studied some idioms. Yesterday we had a little review about idioms and today we will continue with idioms and we finish with idioms uh, today. So if you want to continue studying idioms, all right, you can search on the web. There are a lot of idioms that you can search. Okay, very good. So the first one says, 
It's raining. Uy, 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 uy. It's raining cats and dogs. What's the meaning of it's raining cats and dogs? A, B, or C? B. Sorry? B. Letter B. Yes, letter B. B. All right. It is uh, raining very hard. I remember that idioms are not literal. If you are trying to translate the words in a literal way, you are not going to find any logic. Okay, very good. So letter A is cats and dogs are falling from the sky. It's raining very hard and there are a lot of pets. So letter B. The next one, a piece of cake. What does it mean, a piece of cake? A, something is very good. B, something is very beautiful. Or C, something is very easy. C. Letter C. Yes, very Let good. If you see, <coughs> if you see, sorry. <coughs> if you see a new idiom, try to write the idiom on your notebooks. Okay? Try to write the idioms on your notebooks because they are going to help you a lot. Okay. The next one. So let me see if that is the answer. Yay! All right. Now let's go to the next one. The next one says, as fresh as a daisy. As fresh as a daisy. So what's the meaning of that when it says as fresh as a daisy? A, you are full of energy. B, you are very young. Or C, you are new at somewhere. What do you think the meaning of this is? Daisy is, uh, is this flower, all right? Daisy. So what's the meaning? What do you think the meaning is? A, B, B, B. 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 Okay. Uh, how many of you say it's letter A? Let me see. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna see you. How many of you say it's letter B? Raise your hand, I'm looking at you. Okay, Linda, Erika, Herman, all right. And raise your hand if you say it is letter C. Okay. <laughs> all right, so let's see if that is the answer. No, it's not letter B. It is not letter B. We will try with which letter you told me? C. Another letter? A. a. Letter C. A. Yay. So when you say, I am as fresh as a daisy, that means I am full of energy. I'm full of energy. Is clear? Yeah, so you say, oh, yes. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm as fresh as a daisy. That means I'm very nice. I, uh, I have a lot of energy. I can go and party a long night. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. To have ants in your pants. Oh, my God, I have ants in my pants. What is the meaning of that? Oh, you can, ooh. All right, to have ants in your pants. A, you collect insects. B, you are sitting on the grass. Or C, you are not able to sit still. Mm -hmm. uh, so C, what? maybe letter B. Okay, maybe. some of you say letter B and some of you say letter C. Okay, so we're gonna try uh let me see letter b what you told me right give me a second oh no, it's not letter b so let's try letter c okay very good so when you say i have ants in my pants that means i am not able no puedo sentarme all right I am not able to sit still. It can be still like 
recto, all right? I'm not able to sit still. I have ants in my pants. Can you imagine that idiom literal? That would be terrible, right? A lot of ants in your pants. Okay, the next one. Okay. The next one is break the ice. To break the ice. A, you are very strong. B, you are the first to do or say something. Or C, you like cold drinks. Which do you think the answer is? B. Letter B. Letter B? Yes. B. Yes. Herman, what do you think? A, B, C, or D? Uh, number A. A, a, you are very strong. Okay. Well, the majority said letter B. We're gonna we're gonna choose that one. A. So letter B. When you break the ice, that means you are the first to do or say something. Imagine you meet a beautiful girl, or the ladies meet a handsome boy. So both of you are timid and you don't know how, what to say and you are like, oh my God, I don't want to say anything. So one of you has to break the ice, all right? One of you has to say something. Okay, let's go to the next one. Skeletons in your closet. Skeletons in your closet. A, you have secrets. B, your closet is full of skeletons, or C, you are not afraid of anything. What's the meaning? A. Letter A. Letter A. That says A. What about the others? What about the others? A, B, or C? C. C? Who said C? Erika. Erika, all right, thank you, Erika, because I only look at four people here. Okay, well, some of you said A. Yes, and the answer is letter A. When you say, I have a lot of skeletons in my closet, that means that you have secrets, right? Yeah, for example, Herman, do you have skeletons in your closet? Uh, no. No, okay, no. very good. You don't have secrets. Um, a few. <laughs> a few secrets, okay, very good. A few secrets, okay. Next. Shake a leg. Woo! Yesterday we saw break a leg, but right now we have shake a leg. So what's the meaning of shake a leg? Okay, A, dance with someone. B, hurry up, or C, shake your leg to get a bug of it. Shake your B. leg to get a bug off of it, right? So what's the meaning? Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Hurry Maybe up. Letter A. Oh, Linda says letter A. All right. Some of you said letter B, so shake a leg. Remember, guys. Idioms are not literal expressions with literal meanings. Idioms are expressions with, an, with a meaning that is not literal. So, yeah, shake a leg is hurry up. For example, uh, Herman, we have to go to the doctor at 10 a.m. Please shake your leg. Shake your leg. No se va a poner Herman a mover la pierna, right? No, that means Hurry up. Okay, it is another way to say hurry up. All right. Very good. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. A, ride a horse. B, stop your car. Or C, be patient. Letter C. Be patient. Better see. Better see. What about the others? What do you think? What do you think? Sandy, what do you think? Letter C. Letter C. Yes. Hold your horses is letter C. Very good. Hold your horses is letter C. 
Next. Mm -hmm. On cloud nine. Pay attention to the picture. With the picture, they are giving you some idea, right? Cloud on cloud nine. What's the meaning of this? A, to be very happy or excited, be confused, or be on the ninth floor. What's the meaning of on cloud nine? Letter B. Be confused. Ah, letter B, to be confused. Okay, let's check if that is the answer. Let's see. No, it's not that. I'm gonna give you the answer because I think this is a little okay. difficult. Okay, when you say on cloud nine, you say that you are happy or excited. That is what you wanna say. I'm on cloud nine, I'm very happy or I am excited, okay? Okay, next. A drop in the bucket. Una gota en el balde. A drop in the bucket. A, a very small, a, a very small part of something. A very small part of something. To be thirsty. Tener sed. To be thirsty. Or it's raining a little. A, B, or C. Which do you think the answer is? Letter A. 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 Letter A. Letter okay, A. let's see. A. All right. When you say a drop in the bucket, you say, or you mean a very small part of something. Okay, very good. All right, the next one. A leopard can't change his spots. A leopard. A leopard can't change his spots. Como un leopardo no puede cambiar sus rayos, manchas, all right? A leopard can't change his spots. A, you are afraid of animals. B, you are a rude person. Or C, you cannot change who you are. C. Letter C. Letter C? Yay. All right, for example, Come on, regresa con tu ex. Come on, come back with your ex. No, my ex is a woman nicer. He likes to be with one girl and another girl. And a... No, and he's going to the church. No, no, no. A leopard can change his spots, okay? You can use in that context this. Well, it can be a girl or a boy, no problem. Okay, next. A picture paints a thousand words. A picture paints a thousand words. A, make a picture with words. B, a visual presentation is more descriptive than words. Or C, pictures must be described. Which do you think the answer is? Maybe letter C. Maybe letter C. What about the others? What do you think? Letter A. Letter A. Okay, let's see. Letter B. Yes, okay. So a picture paints a thousand words is a visual presentation is more descriptive than words. Okay, very good. Como que una, una imagen vale más que mil palabras, something mm -hmm. like that, right? Yes. When you see, for example, a picture of a person and you say, oh, this person is sad or this picture is very expressive, whatever. Okay, we finish. Now, let's see if you remember. Let's see if you remember, okay? Okay, A, B, or C? E. Let's see if you remember, all right? It's raining cats and dogs. Quickly, A, B, or C? C, B. Letter B. B. Very good. Next. A piece of cake, A, B, or C? C. C. Good. All right. What about the next one? As fresh as a daisy, A, B, or C? 
Hey. 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 Well, the next one. To have ants in your pants. A, B, or C? C. 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 Very good. Tienen memoria fotográfica, ya vi. Very good. Yes. Okay, the next one. Break the ice. A, B, or C? B. 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 The first person to do something. What about the next one? Skeleton in your closet. A. 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 Very good. To have secrets. The next one. Shake a leg. B. B. Letter B. Letter B. B. Next one. Um, sorry. Uh, hold your horses. C. Better C. Very good. What about the next one? On cloud nine. A. 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 All right. The next one. A drop in the bucket. A. 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 Better A. Okay. What about the next one? A leopard can change his, his spots. Better C. Better C. Last one is a picture paints a thousand words. Better B. Better B. Have good memory, guys. You, I think you are ready for the exam because today we have an exam. No, come on. <laughs> we don't have an exam today. All right. So I'm going to stop the share. Let me see. I have Abby. I have Grecia. I have Sandy. Jose Nelson. Good night. Okay. Very good. good now night. we're going we're gonna to continue with what we have to do today. And let's see. Now here I'm going to show you more idioms. Okay. I'm going to show you more idioms. Now. We're gonna do two activities. Number one is you will read with, with another person because you're gonna work in pairs. You're gonna read the idioms and you will try to understand the idioms with your classmates, okay? And after that, I want you to make a list, but don't look at your notebooks. I want you to make a list of the idioms that we have studied and you remember. Okay, from the idioms that we studied today or from the from the last class. All right, let's see if you remember a little bit. Okay, so take a picture. Take a picture from these idioms, please. Could you please repeat the second part? Ah, okay. Um, you're gonna we're gonna make a list of idioms you remember from from the idioms that we saw in some minutes ago. Or the idioms from the previous class. Let's see if you remember, for example, how to say, um, let me see. Oh my God, I forgot. <laughs> I even forgot them. The okay. pig fly. Sorry? The pigs fly. Oh yeah, Please. very good, yesterday. Or for example, the a fruit in your eye or let's see if you remember right or for example uh, when you see someone uh, with desire all right do you remember what's the idiom break a leg, a leg. no that is that is good luck I no i mean when you see someone and you say or for example when you see chocolate and you're like mm, i want a piece of chocolate or when you see a very cold pilsener. Oh my God, I want ice. a pilsener. Sorry? Eat with eyes. No. Hung hungry eyes. Hungry eyes. Very good. <laughs> hungry eyes. All right. So try to remember the idioms that we have studied before. So did you take the picture from this? Okay. Take a picture, please. You Ready. have the picture, everybody? Yes, okay. So, let's see. We're going to work in pairs, if it is possible. Work in pairs, okay? Very good. So, remember, we're going to read the idioms, and after that, we're going to make a little list, just to practice. 
because I want you to study these idioms. Okay, bye bye, everybody. Hi. Teacher. Hi. <laughs> uh, you can explain again the activity. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. First, you're going to read these idioms. You're going to read and you will try to understand these idioms. So when you finish reading these idioms and understanding the idioms, I want you to make a list with idioms you remember from the previous classes. Okay. Yesterday we we studied some idioms. Do you remember? Yes. Well, maybe Herman remembers, and you can help. Uh, you can help Grecia. Okay. 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 Get the sack to be fire. Have to read. Uh -huh. Get the sack. Get, Get the, the sack. sack. To be fire. Exactly, that is the meaning. Mm -hmm. Hey, what happened to you, Grecia? I got the sack. That means I was fired. Me despidieron, pues. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yes, very good. Yeah, but but the expression is when you want to say when you want to say me despidieron, you say I was fired. But with with an idiom, you can say the same thing in different words. Hey, teacher, what happened to you? Are you sad? Yes, you know, yesterday I got the sack. Mm -hmm. okay. Teacher, entonces, got, o sea, got okay. the sack. El... Get is the present. But if you want to say, me despidieron, you change get for, or instead of got. Mm -hmm. Mi pregunta es, la frase es, get the sack to be fired? No, el, 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 el idioma es get the sack. Y el significado es to be fired. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so the yeah. idiom is in red letters. It's get the sack. And the meaning is in, right. uh, the, the one that is under, to be fired. Okay. Okay, go, continue. Yeah, I, I know idioms, idioms are not very easy because we have to memorize them. But yeah, you, you, you can make it. I know you can make it. Okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go and visit uh, of the hood uh, free from blame or responsibility to be something right and fire the ordinary members of an organization move up in the world become more successful out of work to an employee, give something, give, give someone the all, uh, I don't know, you who fire someone, remove someone from a group or team, team sleep, a lie of notice, loss of a job, typical because of a lot, uh, a yours were the candle at what ends were very long hours. Okay, okay, teacher, the first part is read the idioms. Yeah. Yes. I understand. understand the idioms. 
is the word in the work? Yeah, they are they are idioms related to 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 work, right? And the idiom, remember, the idiom is the red the red phrase. Yes. For example, when you say hang it, hang it, hang, oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, when you say hanging by a thread, es como colgar de un hilo. Mm -hmm. mm. That's the meaning, hanging by a thread. All right, hanging by a thread. Okay, very good. Hanging by a thread. That is the, 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 the word, okay? Hanging by a thread. Right. And the meaning is uh, in great danger, of elimination or failure okay that means okay erica if you don't do your job imagine erica i am your boss and i say okay erica you are a great employee and everything but this week no your your performance has been very poor so if you continue like that mm, your job is hanging by a thread okay it's clear Okay. Yes. Yeah. The next one is off the hook. That means free of responsibilities. Uh huh, Linda Xiomara. You, there was a big problem with the report. No, come on. I am off the hook. That means I I don't have anything to do with that. I am not guilty. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. All right. If you have any question, just let me know. All right. Okay. Good. Okay. It means depende de ti. Which one? Which one, Claudia? The ball is in your court. Ah, the ball is on your court. The ball ah, that is, is that is a new idiom. This is a new idiom. Ah, okay, very good, nice. So that means that the, the responsibility is yours. It's correct. Okay, very good. Uh, but I have a question. Do you understand these idioms, the idioms that are here? And um, no. No. <laughs> you don't understand these idioms? No. Okay, for example, when you say get the sack, you say, oh, you know, yesterday uh, my boss told me that I, that I was, that I am not working in the company in, anymore. So I got the sack. That means? I was fired. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, remember mm. that idioms are used uh, instead of normal expressions. Mm -hmm. It's like, for example, in Spanish, right? Like, for example, ¿Cuántos años tenés? Diez. Eh, yo tengo 25. Ah, al agua quiere mojar, right? You, uh. Have you ever heard those expressions? Yes. So, when you say al agua quiere it's not literally understood. So idioms in English are similar. Mm -hmm. yes, so in this case, when you say get the sack, that's what you mean. Now don't okay. worry, here, if, if we can, I'm gonna explain to you this. Now you can talk about other idioms. Maybe, Ibit, you can tell, yesterday you were in the class, right, Ibit? Yes. Okay, so maybe you can tell uh, Claudia some idioms that we studied yesterday. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, the apple of my eye, hold your horses, when mm -hmm. pigs fly, right? You can, you, can, you can teach her some idioms from yesterday, okay? Yes. Room. Okay. Okay, continue, continue. Porque, vaya, supuestamente que hay que tener cuidado con los espacios y todo eso. Yo te, eh, Sorry. me quedé re... <ríe> Hi, how are you? you? You finished this activity, no? No. I am confused. We, I ah, am confused. okay, but don't worry, because ya in, in, in a moment we finish, but I'm, and I'm having more people that are joining, so don't worry. No. Okay. I'm going to close the rooms. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to close the rooms and I'm going to... I'm gonna, we're gonna do the activity together, all right? Don't worry. 
Okay, everybody. I know, I know that idioms are difficult. All right. So we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain it to you. Now, here we have six idioms. Six idioms. Oh, well, no, they are not six. They are nine. Uh, we have nine idioms that are related to jobs. The first one says, get the sack. No lo trate de traducir literalmente. Acuérdense que no tienen traducción literal. Algunos, some of them, right? So, for example, when you say, get the sack, the meaning is to be fired. Fired is despedido. So, for example, we, I'm going to write an example. Yo les voy a escribir un ejemplo. I'm going to write one example per each idiom. And maybe you can write it on the notebook because I don't have a space here. I'm going to be texting, uh, typing, I'm sorry, the example. And then I'm going to erase to write the other example. So, with get the sack, it will be yesterday Camila got the sack. I'm gonna change get for got because we are using the expression yesterday, okay? Okay, so yesterday Camila got the sack. That means ayer despidieron a Camila, that is the meaning. So we can say that in two ways. Number one, yesterday Camila was fired or Yesterday, Camila got the sack. Is it clear? Yes. All right. Now I'm going to give you an example with the second. The second is hanging by a thread. Okay. That means in great danger of elimination or failure. In Spanish, will be like pender de un hilo. Okay. For example, you can say, my relationship, no, my, my, sorry, my relationship, no. My job, you can say, my job is hanging from, sorry, hanging by a thread. Okay, you know, everybody, yesterday I made a big mistake. So my job is hanging by a thread. Is it clear? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. The next one, maybe maybe you can write the example. Lo escribe or you take a picture. Por el espacio los estoy borrando, okay? That's why, because we have a few, uh, sorry, a little space. So, my job is hanging by a thread, okay? That my means, oh my God, I made a mistake. And right now, uh, my job is hanging by a thread. By a thread. By a thread, okay. The next one. The next one is off the hook. That means free from blame or responsibility to do something. Yeah, for example, imagine in your job yesterday there was, there was a big problem and you say, no boss, come on, I am off the hook. That means, uh, Yo estoy fuera de esa responsabilidad. I am off the hook. Okay? Another way is I am not guilty. Or another way can be don't blame me. No me culpe. Don't blame me. Okay? So we can have different expressions. So number one, I am off the hook. Number two, I am not guilty. And number three, don't blame me. Is clear? Por ejemplo, si usted quiere decir, ve si yo no tengo la culpa, ah, come on, I am off the hook. Okay, very good. I am off the hook. Okay, the next one is rank and file. The ordinary members of an organization. Rank and file. Come on, you can say, Julio and Robert are rank and file. Lo voy a volver a repetir y en español. No trate de darle significado literal a las expresiones. Don't try to give literal meaning to the expressions because if you do, it's going to be difficult for you to understand. 
So remember, like in Spanish, casa de herrero, cuchillo de palo. What's the, or for example, candil de la calle, oscuridad de su casa. You know, right? Yes? For example, for example, my mother, my mother says, come on, Ana Ruth, you are candil. Right? So that means that I like to be on the street. <laughs> or, <laughs> even in the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. So my mother gets very angry. So when you say Julio and Robert are rank and file, that means Julio and Robert are ordinary members, as if we say in Spanish, gatos. <laughs> Cats. <laughs> yeah? Okay, so that's that's the way you understand that idiom, rank and file. Okay. The next one. The next one is move up in the world. Move up in the world, that means to become more successful. Yes, that means a tener mucho éxito. For example, I will move up the world. You will see me. You will see me in 10 years. I will move up the world. Okay? You will see that in 10 years. I will move up the world. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah, this is, this is not difficult. This is not difficult. The next one is yes. out of work. Uh, for example, you can say two months ago, I was, two months ago, I was out of work. That means, no, no tenía trabajo. Mm -hmm. Two months ago, I was out of work. Okay, out of work. Hey, um, Camila, are you working right now? No, right now I am out of work. Why? Do you have any offer? Yes, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's clear? Okay, the next one is, Give someone the old heavy hoe. Sorry, have have hoe. Okay. Give someone the old have hoe. That means fire someone, remove someone from a group or a team. Yes. For example, imagine in your company you have a team and you are removed from the team and they say we will give abel the old have ho that is the expression okay that is not that is so so common but they can use it once in a while una vez al tiempo Otra, otra manera de decir una vez al tiempo es once in a blue moon. Mm -hmm. Once in a blue moon. Okay, very good. Once in a blue moon. Okay, the next one. The next one is a pink slip. A layoff notice, loss of a job, typically because of layoffs. Un despido por faltas, por llegar por llegar tarde, etc. So, you can say, oh my God, I got a pink slip. Yeah? If you say, I got a pink slip, that means you are out. Okay? Very good. You are out. Okay. I got a pink slip. And the last one is burn the candle Como quemar la vela, burn, burn the candle at both ends. Imagine this is a candle, and you burn the candle here, and you burn the candle here. The meaning is work very long hours. Yesterday, Francisco told me, teacher, I am working a lot of hours, right? Francisco told me. Imagine if you work 14 hours a day. Do you work 14 hours a day, everybody? No. I um, no. work 12. You work 12, Claudia. All right. Francisco told me yesterday that he works a, um, a lot of hours. So that means Francisco 
burns the candle at both ends. Francisco burns the candle at both ends. Ok. No es que Francisco quema la vela por los dos lados. No, you say, Francisco burns the candle at both ends. That means Francisco works a long time. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Ok, very good. Now, um, we're going to go to... Sorry. I'm going to include another, another, another slide to this. Because okay. I, I want to do something with this. No solo les quiero enseñar idioms, sino que los aprendan a usar. Okay, very good. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Now, I want you to tell me. Vamos a ver qué tan buena memoria we have. We have a good memory. Tell me some idioms that you remember from yesterday or today. Tell me. I will tell you, I will tell you, how do you say, and you tell me in English. How do you say, um, let me see, how do you say, uh, desear algo con mucha pasión. How do you say that in English? The idiom. Hungry eyes. Very good. Hungry eyes. Right? That is one. Hungry eyes. Now, another one. How do you say in English, hmm, ni lo sueñes? When pigs fly. Very good. When pigs fly. All right? Ni lo sueñes. When pigs fly. Now, you can say, teacher, pero ahí dice cuando los cerdos vuelen. Mm -hmm. Never. <laughs> Pigs will never fly. Right? For example, Erika, do you want to be my girlfriend? <laughs> when pigs fly. Right? <laughs> Very good. And, and that. Okay. When pigs fly. pigs fly. How do you say romper el hielo in English? Break ice. Uh huh. Break ice. Break the ice. Break the ice. Right, let me see. How do you say in English, relax, relájate? How do you say that in English? Hold your house. Relax, take it easy. Yeah. Ah. Eso lo aprendimos del libro, right? Take it okay. easy. Or we can say, hold. Uh -huh, hold. Your horses. Yes. Hold your horses. Very good. Hold your horses. Now, how do you say in English, está lloviendo muy fuerte? Raining. It's raining cats and dogs. Okay, very good. We say, it's raining cats and dogs. All right, it's raining cats and dogs. Okay, now, um, how do you say in English, I have a lot of secrets? I have a lot of secrets. The skeletons in the closet. Okay, skeletons in your closet. Okay, very good. Let's see. How do you say in English uh, to get fired? Me despidieron. I got fired. I got fired. Hmm? Eh, Herman, do you remember? Get the sack. Ah, very get good, the Herman. Sack. Get the sack. Very good. Get the sack. Get the sack. Very good. Uh, let get me see. Sack. Yeah, get the sack. Now, um, how do you say in English, I am full of energy? Fresh. Um, 
Francisco, as, as, as fresh as a daisy. Yeah, as fresh as a daisy. Okay, as fresh as a daisy. Number nine, how do you say lo más importante de mi vida? You are most important person for me. Mm -hmm. Apple in your eyes. Yes, the you apple are. Of my eyes. Yeah, you are the yeah, apple the, oh, oh, of my, my, my eye. eye. Very good. The apple of my eye. How do you say in English? Let me see. I am happy. Very happy. I feel like. I uh -huh. So you say, I feel I feel like a dog with two tails. Okay, very good. I feel like a dog with two tails. Now, let's see. Can you tell me another idiom that we have? Another idiom. One more. How do you say in English? Mm, let me see. Because I'm trying to I'm trying to remember. How do you sorry? Oh, what do you say in English? La gota que derramó el vaso. Oh, a drop in the bucket. You can also say that, a drop in the bucket. A drop in the bucket. You can also say that, all right? A drop in the bucket. Okay, very good. Okay, we're going to do that. Stop the, the, the share. Yeah, so those are idioms that we already know. And we will continue with the next activity. Let me see. All right. Okay. So we already see, saw that. Now, here we're gonna we're gonna read an article. Okay, we're gonna go and read an article. But first, I want you to learn some new words because we're gonna read an article. Now, uh, the first word that we have is on board. Vamos a leer un artículo y ahí vamos a ver algunas palabras nuevas. We're gonna see some. Casi no se le escucha, teacher. Porque hay como interferencia. ¿Será que pueden cerrar los micrófonos? Ah, ok, right now. Ok, thank you, Linda. Now, here, what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to learn some vocabulary, right? So, we're going to learn some vocabulary because we will study or we will read an article. Now, the first one says, on board. The meaning of board is a bordo. That's the meaning. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the meaning of this word. So yes, for example, when you are part of the of a company and you say we are on board. Okay, very good. The next one is craftsmen. Okay, so the meaning of that word, sorry. The meaning of this word is Artesanos, all right, that's the meaning, craftsmen, all right, because we're going to see the feedback, feedback is this word, okay, this is the, the meaning, feedback, for example, yesterday I went to, to my boss and he gave me some feedback, uh-huh, very good. And the next one is this, right? Achieve. And this one is this. Tag, to tag. All right, very good. The meaning of that word. It is etiquetar also, sorry. Because taggear is Spanglish. Okay, very good. So we have these words. One, two, three, four, five. They are, I think, five new words that you are going to find in the article. All right, so the first one is on board, on board, craftsman, feedback, 
achieve and tag. Okay, very good, tag, tag. All right, so I'm gonna stop the share and I'm gonna show you right now the book because I want you to take a picture from the book because we're gonna read a little article. All right, very good. So let me see, I don't know if, if I make it big. Okay, I want you to first take a picture from this part because you will read this. Okay, very good. So that is what we're gonna read. We're gonna read this article and the name of the article is how to organize a preventive maintenance plan. Okay, maintenance. So take a picture from this, please. Take a picture. You have the picture, everybody? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Okay, very yes, good. Teacher. Yes, yes. Yes. All right. So you have the picture. Now please take take a picture from this part. This part. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have the picture? Yes. Yes, all right, very good. So uh, here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna write, um, let's see what we're gonna write because it doesn't say there in the instructions, but we're gonna, we're gonna write that. Let me check. Okay, this is, give me a second. Page number, okay, we're gonna write true or false. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because in the instructions it doesn't say, but here we're gonna write true or false. That's what we're gonna write here. So where you're gonna read, ya lo hicimos una vez, I think. We read once a little article, and after that we're gonna, you're gonna choose if they are true or false. But first, I'm gonna take attendance. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take attendance. So we don't, we, don't, we don't have any interruptions. Remember that for taking attendance, I need your cameras on, all right? Okay, Ruth Patricia, no here. I don't know what happened to her. Abel de Nilson Salazar Melara. Present. Saida Janet Perez Rodriguez. Present. Okay, Ivita Alexandra Rivera Rodriguez. Present. Victor Palacios Reyes. Present. Present. There. Claudia Lorena Funes Jovel. I'm here. Okay. Grecia Ivonne Mejia Ayala. Present. Okay. Gre uh, Sandy Stephanie Pais Orellana. Present. All right. Germán Agustín Ramos Villeda. Present. Very good. Jessica del Carmen, she has never been present. Juliana Araceli Ramos Rosales. She's not here yet. Hilsi Gifredo Norberto Ceron Valle. Edgar Manuel Bonilla Flan Franco. Present, present. Okay, Jose Nelson Gustavo Pineda. Present. Raquel present. Elizabeth Cigarán Murcia. Present. Carmen Irene Navidad Campos. Present. Okay, Linda Sionda Tabora Portillo. Present. Erika Elizabeth Salmerón de Humansor. Present. Reina de la Paz Villatoro de Álvarez. Present. Ok. En Francisco Edgardo Pérez Guzmán. Present. Excellent. Very good. Now, we will go to a small groups and what we're going to do is first, you're going to read the article and two, you're going to choose if the sentences are true or false. Ok. Very good. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna recreate these rooms again. You're gonna, you're gonna work in pairs, okay? You're gonna work in pairs. First, read and two, true or false. Okay, bye-bye everybody, go. Go to the small rooms.
get the right people for before you begin begin to organize your preventive maintaining plan you need to have to write, to write people on board with the plan include to managing maintaining managers maintenance technician and any other staff who understand the way your system operate, operates. This code require people from date processing, accounting, craftsmen, and member of production and production control. You may not need input from each of these people at every at step, every step. <laughs> gracias of the process but it's important to have them on board and get up to day so you can get important feedback as you go okay step two set goals for your preventive maintenance plan Using your test forces input, set goals you hope to achieve using the system, begin training your task force on the computer skills they'll need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. Leo el numero tres. Yes, and uh, uh, I'm mm -hmm. start with the number, with the step one, when you finish step three. Okay. And step three is inventory, the keeping. All of the assets you have responsibility for record the following details that you got and keeping in mind that this process in, is more easy to carry out and organize with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance, maintenance software program. Okay. Okay. Empezamos de nuevo. Okay. Step one, get the right people on board before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan you need to have the right people of bear with the plan include top magna magna no sé cómo decir. management management maintenance management manager maintenance technician and any other staff who understand the way your system operate this call include include people from the processing accounting craftsmen and members of production and production control yes. your many not need in, input from people on board is not relevant es tener eh, gente apropiada a bordo no es relevante para the paragraph dice say, say, you need to have the right people on board with the plan is false es false Yes. Maybe. Uh, okay. The, uh, it's called number one is called. Yes. And number two. It is, it is important to include people who understand of maintenance. Is it, it is important to include people who understand of maintenance. Aquí dice. Yes. The school, yes. Uh -huh. The school include people from data processing, coding, craftsman, and member of production and production control. 
uh, inclui do management, maintenance manager, maintenance technician, and any other staff who understand the way your system operates. Yes, true. Cool. Number three. Yes, number three. Setting goals is an option for the PMP. Yeah. Okay. Say in a the system for the PMP. Selling goals an option for the PMP preventing maintenance plan. It is is a say so goal you have to yeah, that you uh, use in the system. I think about the Tener metas es una opción, dice. Es preventive maintenance plan. Es por. Ok. Number four. For better results, creating a list of the of the responsibility for record the following the is true. The better result creating a list as important. It's true. true. In number five, according to the article to carry out the PMP. A sober is mandatory. Pero qué significa PMP? Es uh, preventivo mantenimiento plan plan ever. Ajá, uh, preventive maintenance maintenance program. Maintenance. Man, maintenance programs. A maintenance. Uh -huh. PMP is preventive maintenance program. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's mandatory. You know, the organization system of good preventive maintenance software program is a software is mandatory. Uh, yes, it's true. Okay. For me, it's true. Uh, mandatory, is mandatory. Como obligación tener el programa, algo así, entiendo. Es como una obligación. Ajá, obligatorio. Ajá. Según el... El segundo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Según el number three, step three. Porque, porque the, when this program is a, a good preventive maintenance software program. It's true and fast. For me? No. Did, you, did you finish? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Very good. Okay. Well, Erica and 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 Saida, not yet. They you they were missing some sentences, but let's see. Mm, okay. Uh so let's see if the sentences are true or false. Okay. So number one, having the appropriate people on board is not relevant. Relevant. True or false? False. false. Paul. 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 What about number two? It is important to not, well, it is important to include people who understand of maintenance. True or false? True. 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 Good. true. All right. What about number two? 
setting goals is an option for the PMP. False. Some of you say false. And the others? True. No. Yeah. All right, we're gonna false. check. Setting false. goals is an option for the PMP. Let's see. PMP. PMP is this. PMP is. Using your task, forces input, set goals you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your task force on the computer skills they will need when your preventive maintenance plans goes into full effect. So, what do you think? True? What, oh my God, my God. what do you think? True or false, number three? False. True. True. All right. Yeah. True. True. False. Number four. For better results, create a list of the assets. Los assets son como los bienes, all right? For better results, creating a list of the assets is important. True or false? True. 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 Very good. Very good. True. And the next one is, according to the article, to carry out, para llevar a cabo, to carry out the PMP, oh, everybody, pay attention to this. This is a phrasal verb, carry out, okay? So, according to the article, to carry out the PMP, a software is mandatory, true or false? False. True. True or true. false? True. A software true. is mandatory. True. 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 Okay. True. Well, it's false according to the answer. But what do you think? I think because false, says, teacher. Because look, look at, you have false. Yeah, because it says um, record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software. Yeah, but this is not like a mandatory thing. It's like some kind of tip. Mm -hmm. So it's false. Okay, very good. False. All right, very good. I have a question. Is it, is it difficult to, to understand this information? What do you think? From mm -hmm. one to 10, oh. how much do you understand? From Seven. one to ten. Tell Seven. Seven? Okay. What about the others? Seven. Eight. Seven. Six. Eight. Six. But that's okay. If you tell me three, mm, I'm going to I'm going to worry. But if you tell me five, six, seven, it's okay. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because this is technical English and they are not easy things to understand. So if you understand five, six, or seven, I'm happy. I'm very happy, okay? Because this is not something easy. It's not something easy, so good. All right, now we're gonna go to the next activity and the next activity is, uh, oh, yeah, sorry, I'm regation. Let me see, give me a second. <laughs> All right, okay, we're gonna watch a video. Okay, we're gonna watch a video, and the video is business idioms for everyday use. That is what we're gonna watch, all right? So please, we're gonna watch this. Uh, it's a very long video, but we're not, we're not gonna watch everything because it's, it's kind of long. Okay, so let's watch this. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna play full screen. Okay. Here in this video, I'll share with you 35 most common business idioms. They are 35 idioms, but we're not going to study 35. We're going to study less. All right. So if you have a notebook, if you have a notebook and a pen, you can, you can write them. Remember, in this moment, we are getting familiar with the idiom. I know that it's going to be very impossible to memorize all the idioms going to be very impossible, but we have to get familiar with the idioms, okay? Ahora usted ya sabe que es un idiom. For example, if you listen to a person saying, oh my God, it's raining cats and dogs. No va a esperar que caigan los perros y gatos del cielo, right? 
You're not gonna wait for that. You know that if a person is saying it's raining cats and dogs, that means that it's, for example, today. Today, the whole day, it was raining cats and dogs. It was very good for, for sleeping. I slept a little bit. That was that was good. Okay. Okay, let's let's continue. You can take notes. Often used by native English professionals. On my website, you will find over a hundred business idioms with definitions and examples. From there, you can also take a quiz or make a printout. You can find the link to my website down below in the description. So, without further ado, let's get started. Ballpark figure. A rough estimate. I'm, I'm gonna stop if you want to, if you want to write it. Ballpark figure. Un estimado, así a lo, a lo, a lo grueso, something like that. That would be the, the word, right? Can you give me a ballpark figure as to what this project will cost? Busman's holiday. Spending your time doing the same thing you do at work. Let me see the name, business idioms for the, okay. Watch the, watch the video everybody and I'm gonna look for the video right now on YouTube and I'm gonna send the video to, to all right, I'm gonna send the video to you, but keep on watching the, the video. This this link is on the manual. The painter spent Busman's holiday painting his own house. Cash cow. A consistently profitable business or product. That line of leather shoes is a real cash cow. Climbing the corporate ladder. Work your way up to higher positions in a company. He quickly climbed the corporate ladder to become a CEO. Cold call. A call made without an appointment to sell something. Sales people were handed a list of numbers to cold call. Cook the books. Alter facts or figures dishonestly, or illegally. The Mafia boss forced the accountants to cook the books. Crunch the numbers. Do a lot of math calculations to make a decision. They crunched the numbers before buying that new property. Cut a deal. To reach an agreement. Her agent cut a deal giving her 30% of the profits. Cut corners. Skip certain steps in order to do something, as easily or cheaply. Don't hurry. You cannot cut corners if you want to do a perfect job. Dead end job. A job where there is no chance of promotion. I am in a dead-end job and looking for a new opportunity. Deadwood. Someone or something that is no longer useful. She cleared out the deadwood as soon as she took over. Elephant in the room. A huge problem that no one wants to talk about. Debt crises is the elephant in the room that no one is talking about. Fine print. Important details, usually printed in tiny letters in a contract. Read the fine print before you sign the contract. Game plan. Plan of action, or a strategy. We need a new game plan for the upcoming season. Glass ceiling. An unofficial or social barrier to advancement in a profession. She crushed the glass ceiling to be the first woman president. Golden handcuffs. Special benefits offered 
to keep an employee from leaving. They hired her with a pair of golden handcuffs. Golden Handshake A large amount paid, as an incentive for early retirement. The new owners offered all employees a golden handshake. Golden Parachute An employment contract, that guarantees great benefits, if fired. She is not afraid of getting fired, because of the golden parachute. Okay, two more, two more. Gray area. A situation in which it is difficult to distinguish between right and wrong. At the moment, the law on compensation is very much a gray area. Headhunt. To recruit the best people for top level positions. A rival company headhunted her. Okay. Very good. Now, as you can see here, there are some idioms that are related to business. I sent the video to 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 the groups if you if you want to see uh, or watch the video complete, okay? Because I need to I need to do other other things with you. Okay. So, let's see. Where where is it? Okay, I'm, we're going to go here. But to the to the manual again. Now, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna see these idioms, okay, that are on your on your manual. Okay, so here we have the idioms and we have the meaning. So, Evit, can you do me a favor? Can you help me? Can you help me read these two, please? Francisco will help me with the other two. Um, Saida will help me with the other two, and Carmen Irene will help me with the last ones. Okay, very good. So, Evie, let's begin. Okay. Wipe it up. Very tired. Okay. To have a lot, uh, a lot on one's plate. To have a lot to do. To fall down, to fall down. I mean, there the patient. patient. Okay, very good. To settle down. Oh, we have another another uh, idiom for for relaxing. To calm down or to settle down. All right. The next one is hanging there. To be patient. Okay. Thank you, Francisco. Next. To keep one head about water to survive. Okay. To scale back one's hours to reduce to num the number of hours one work. Thank you very much. Irene? Stress it out under severe strain. Very anxious. Anxious. Anxious, okay. A sleep one's mind. Be forgot, forgo, forgotten. 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 All right. Forgot. Very good. Forgotten. Thank you very much. So what we're gonna do right now, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna explain a little bit these idioms. Now, when you say wiped, remember the pronunciation is wiped. When you say wiped out, that means you feel very tired. For example, yesterday. Yesterday I worked a lot. Wipe I out. feel wiped out. Or I feel very tired. All right, it's the same. So yesterday I worked a lot. I feel wiped out. Okay, with the next one. The next one says to have. To have a lot on one's plate. Es como tener mucho en mi plato. That means to have a lot of work to do. One sentence for this will be, eh, today, let me see. I'm gonna write it here. Today I have a lot. Today I have a lot 
on my plate. Okay? Where it says, where it says one's plate, where it says one's plate, you will substitute this for my, my. Okay, today I have a lot on my plate. That means today I have a lot of things to do, okay? The next one is to settle down. That means to calm down, all right? Okay, hang in there, hang in there, be patient. To keep my head, aquí donde dice once, we are gonna substitute once for my, okay? To keep my head, okay, above water. Arriba del agua, to keep my head above water. That means to survive, to survive. The next one is to scale back once, hour, once hours. That means to reduce the number of hours one works. Este one significa las horas que uno trabaja, right? Y este que está con apostrofe, the one that is with apostrophe, you're gonna substitute it for my, okay? Once, okay, you're gonna substitute it with my. That's what you're gonna do, okay? The next one is stressed out under severe strain or very anxious. This is something very easy. So you can say, for example, today I have a lot of work to do. I am stressed out. And the last one is sleep one's mind, right? So it will be sleep my mind. In past will be slipped my mind. Okay, very good. That will be in present and that will be in past. So one sentence will be, for example, oh my God, I didn't finish my work. I slipped my mind. That means se me olvidó, okay? That's, that's the meaning. So, what we're gonna do in this moment, lo que le voy a dejar ahorita de hacer no es tan sencillo, it's not very easy, but we will make an effort and we will try, okay? So, what we're gonna do is you will write one sentence, va a escoger tres, you will choose three. Yes, you will choose three. Um, let me see. No, you will choose four, okay? You will select from these eight idioms, you will select four, and you will write one sentence. Is it clear? One sentence with one, one sentence with another, one sentence with another. This is not something easy, but I want you to make an effort, all right? I want you to make an effort. Is it clear? Okay, very good. So, eh, Okay, I'm sorry. So, uh, did you take a picture of the of the idioms? Yes. Very. Yes, everybody. You took a, a picture. All right. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna play it again. All right. I'm gonna show it again if you want to take a picture. Okay. Very good. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna work with this. I know it's not something easy. When I was learning English, believe me, this was so difficult for me. But with the practice, with the practice, with the practice, with the practice, you're gonna you're gonna make perfection. Okay, let's go to work right now. Ooh, bye bye everybody. Bye. Go and work in pairs with the sentences. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Uh, muero. <laughs> they difficult, everybody? No, uh, a little. <laughs> My, for me, this part is most, is most difficult to understand you speak. Ah, okay. So it's it's more difficult like to create. Yes. And speak. Believe me, believe me. Uh, <coughs> when you, when, well, when students are studying English and they are learning idioms for the first time, it's like a wow. Yeah, because there are some idioms there are some idioms that you have to elaborate the sentences there are other idioms that you can use the, the phrases for example hold your horses you memorize the expression hold your horses and you use it hold your horses but there are other expressions in which you have to include uh, other ideas and that is the most difficult thing okay but can, can do it you are very intelligent linda okay. and you are <laughs> Two of my best students. <laughs> yes. Okay, continue. I, I will come back if you have a question. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, Linda. I. Okay, number two. Uh, to keep one's head above water to serve me. Oh. Sobrevive uh, survivor. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, the, uh, the sentences. Is, uh, okay. The Kiriak the one's head above water. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I survived. I'm sorry. We. I we yeah. we to keep to get no to keep to, to keep, keep uh, to keep to keep my hair uh, or hair with a uh, we wear or 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 hair uh -huh. about water uh, uh, for uh, for the for for the crisis for the economic for the economy for the economic crisis yes uh, we do to keep our hair above water for the economic crisis yeah. Oh, for the yeah. for the pay. Oh, for the okay. okay, the number three. Um, uh, sleep once men be forgotten. Okay. In case of, in case of, air earthquake, earthquake to call them. To calm down. Uh -huh. In case earth wake. To calm down. Okay. How in there? How in there? Soy paciente. Ser paciente. Ser paciente. Uh -huh. eh, podríamos poner I understand because don't attend in the hospital. But I am B o I but, pero yo tengo que ser paciente. A mí no me tienen en el hospital, pero tengo que ser paciente. I... I am not attended in the hospital. Okay. I am not attended in the hospital, but... 
Be patient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can say that. Okay. Now, to calm down. Mm -hmm. To calm down, okay. Uh, the next. Vaya, la número tres. Podemos usar. Ay, como dice el último que va. Ya, voy a ver bien en la otra página. Ah, be, pa be patient, the hang in there. Podemos poner. In, oh. Así como, in this moment, we depend on. En de, o sea, teacher, ¿cómo se dice como cuarentena? The quarantine. 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 Como por, se puede decir, digamos. Quarantine. 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 Se, se puede decir, in this moment with the pandemic and quarantine. Eh, eh, a todos. Everybody. Everybody hanging there. Uh huh. Yeah, that that would be a possible option. Yes. Yeah, hanging there. Every, como era todo? Everybody. Uh, everybody. Everybody must hang in there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Must hang in there. Eso sería como la tercera, digamos. Okay. And número cuatro, Francisco. No sé cuál es el propósito que tenemos. A ver, tengo que pensar que el propósito de la vida es. ¿Cuál? 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 Corte de Excel en la reunión. But it's, I don't know if that's correct. What do you want to say, Claudia? I want use the idioms sleep once mine and the sentences it could be I I sleep one. I sleep you one smile. Uh -huh. I slipped my mind. I sleep my mind for. I sleep my mind for the Excel report. With, with, with. Did you finish, everybody? No. Uh, uh, yes. No? No? Yes. 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 Ponchados. Yes. Yes. Ponchados. Yes. No, 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 we don't say that. Okay. I know that it's a little difficult. I know. Okay. Can you give me some examples? Maybe someone can give me some examples. In the hey, give I? Me a second because I can listen a private conversation over there. Okay. So if you want to participate, please um uh, unmute your microphone and give me the example, please. Let okay. me see a victim. Victor, Victor will be my victim. Okay, uh, the first... Give me one example, Victor. Okay, the first... Today, I met with partners and hang in there for the discussion. Excellent, very good. Nice example, nice. Okay. Do you have another? Oh, yes. 
Okay, tell me. We, we to keep our head above water for the economic crisis. Can you repeat, please? I like that okay. sentence. Okay. We to keep to keep our 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 metro, our, our high, head above water for the economic crisis. Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. And you can include something else. You can say we need to keep we need to keep uh, our uh, heads. Mm -hmm. You can say that. You can say that. Excellent, very good. Excellent, Victor. Let me see another volunteer. Hmm. <laughs> he is looking at me right now. But he is going bananas. Herman. <laughs> Herman, give me one example. Do you remember going bananas, everybody? Yes. yes. That's it. <laughs> yeah, good, good. All right, Herman, don't go bananas. Tell me. Give me hey. one example. Hey. Uh, the traffic is, is, is stressed out me. Ah, okay, okay. We're going to do something. The traffic or traffic stresses me out. Okay, yeah. the tra uh, traffic, traffic stresses me out. Okay, very good, stresses, oh. perfect. Okay, nice. Okay. Um, Erika, give me one example, please. Okay. The, when you're stressful, remember to sleep down. When you are stressful, remember to? Sleep down. Okay, very good, nice. Excellent, very good, very good. Okay, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna stop here and we're gonna go to the final activity. The final activity, I need time, okay. So let me see, the final activity is gonna be, okay. Let me see if, let me see if you remember. If you snooze, you lose. Let's see what the meaning is. Let me see if you remember. Letter A, do things in a hurry. Letter B, if you are not aware, you lose chances. Or letter C, not have an idea about something. So which is the correct one? A, B, or C? B. B. B, are you sure? Yay, yes. letter B, all right? And what's the meaning in Spanish? Camarón que se duerme. Camarón que se duerme. Se se Excellent, very good. So, in English, if you snooze, you lose, yes. all right? How do you say al que madruga Dios le ayuda? Appeared. Appeared. Uh, I... I don't remember, but... You don't remember? Appeared. Appeared, appeared, appeared. Bird? Cloud? No. Bird. Bird? Yeah. The early bird catches the worm. The early bird catches, catches the, the worm. worm. Remember, the early bird catches the worm. Okay. Now, let's go with the next activity. Ay, wait. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. Hoy ha sido de idioms, 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 and more idioms. Today your head will explode. Boom. Okay. Very good. I know, I know. But estos son más fáciles. These idioms are easier. Okay. So I'm going to read for you the idiom. And what you will do is you will match the idiom with the meaning. Algunos ya lo vimos. Some of them. Okay. Shake a leg. Drives me up a wall, spill the beans, penny pincher, horsing around, put your foot in your mouth. Pongas el pie en la boca. Oh my God, what is that? Put your foot in your mouth and cat got your tongue. Cat got your tongue. The cat 
got your tongue. Okay. No les suena familiar. Doesn't sound familiar. Cat got your tongue. Okay. So um, we're gonna we're gonna do it in a, with another person. Eh, ¿Con quién estaba trabajando Irene? ¿Con quién estaba trabajando usted, Irene? Do you remember? Eh, I don't remember. Ivit. Ivit. Okay. Evit. Irene and Ivit, what they do is they use a translator and that is something good, all right? You can use translator for, for looking for some words that you don't know, okay? Very good. So please take a picture. Imagínense que este es un examen. Imagine this is an exam, all right? Let's see how much you get. All right, so please take a picture. I'm gonna move the eraser. Take a picture. We have some minutes. Okay, so we're gonna go and we're gonna share this last activity. This is the last thing we're gonna do. Okay, let me see. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so we're gonna. Okay, I'm gonna give you some minutes and bye bye, everybody. We're gonna practice for the last time. This is the last activity. And no idioms anymore. <laughs> no idioms anymore. Number one, check a leg if hurry up. Correr, ¿verdad? Apurarse. Eh, number two, drive me up a well. Drive me up a well. Drive me up a well. Wow. Drives me up a well. Uh, I don't know. You know. Drives me up a well. Es manejar y llevarme lejos. Give, up, give away a secret. <laughs> My, mi error es que lo estoy tratando de entender en español. Exactly, exactly. You need to, you need to get the idea. No tienen traducción literal algunos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dries me up a well. It's, uh, for me, it's give away a secret. But I am, I am, I am not sure. Put your foot in your mouth is not talking. Uh huh. Okay. Exactly. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Not talking. Um. Or oh, give away in a secret. Mm, that is spill the beans. Ah, okay. Spill the beans mm -hmm. is give away. A secret. Yeah. Put your foot in your mouth is not talking. Mm. Or not talking is cut, cut your tongue. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That is that is the one. Okay. Cut, cut your tongue is not talking. Hurting mm -hmm. uh, around. Is horsing around. Penny Pincher is. Oh, Penny not... Pincher. Pen, penny Pincher is like if you say in Spanish, codo. It is not willing to spend money. Exactly. Very good. Mm -hmm. Penny Pincher. 
penny pincher. Yeah. Spill the pins is a give away a secret. Yeah. Drives me up away. Ah, dice que es disclose a secret or reveal something premature. Spill beans. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say something, say something embarrassing or not talking, maybe. Linda, can you repeat the definition? Okay. To reveal uh, something. Disclose a secret or reveal something prematurely. Yeah. As Ah, give away a secret. Is the answer. Give away secret? Hello. Maybe. Teacher. Mm -hmm. el, el spill the beans is give away a secret. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give away a secret. Idioms, idioms are very nice. I, I like idioms. At the beginning, I was like, oh, yeah, I don't like them. But then when you get familiar, you get familiar, you get familiar, you start to like them. But right now you have some idea, right? When you are watching a TV program or when you are reading something. Oh, by the way, Linda, did you finish the book? Uh, no, maybe tomorrow. Oh. Uh, a meter and a half the book. <laughs> So you already read where the where, when uh, Joseph Merrick, because that's the name of the, the elephant man, uh, he went to the queen. Uh, no, when the uh, go to the hospital. Ah, it's All because right, Erica. Hospital. Erica, oh. uh, Linda uh, asked me if I could if I could send her a book to read. So mm -hmm. I sent her a book that is called uh, The Elephant Man and it's very nice. So if you want to read something extra for you, I can I can help you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you would like it. Yeah, but it's nice and it's sad. I'll, I'll yes, it. see the language is very easy. Mm -hmm. It's very easy yeah. to understand. Okay, continue. I'm not going to interrupt. <laughs> okay. Penny, Penny, Penny Pincher. Pincher. Penny pincher is like if you're saying in Spanish, codo. Oh, <laughs> penny pincher. Uh, Edgar and Abel, is it difficult? Uh, un poquito, sí. <laughs> a little bit. All right. Let me see. Let me see if you have. What do you have for drives me up a wall? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you like like what will be like in Spanish, all right? I know that is difficult, but I'm gonna help you because I know that for you, for both of you, is kind of difficult. Drives me up a wall means como sacar de quicio. Mm -hmm. So from the meaning, what will be what will be the mean? What will be the the correct choice? Mm, uh, fooling around. Fooling around es como andar de de parranda. Uh -huh. That will be fooling around. Annoying me? Anno yes, very good. Annoying. Annoying is como enojarme. So uh -huh. this, this will be this, all right? Drives, drives me up a wall, it will be this, okay? What about spill the beans? Spill the beans is like when you, como soltar la sopa in Spanish. What will be the, the what will be, uh-huh? Mm -hmm. What will be, what will be the, the the meaning not talking mm, no no quiero ver soltar la sopa mm -hmm. okay if you are a bad guy le voy a voy a soltar la sopa all right but i'm gonna <laughs> tell your mother all right so what do you think it is It will be saying something embarrassing, <laughs> embarrassing to say a secret or not willing to spend money. Yes, what will be the correct? Give a weep secret. 
Exactly, very good. So when you say spill the beans is, you refer to give away secrets, right? No. Spill the beans, to give away. Como guardar el secreto, algo así. Exact no, decirlo, decirlo. Ah, decirlo. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Spill es como derramar, spill. Beans son frijoles, derramar los frijoles, you don't say that, right? In, a, in, a, in, in a Spanish, the, like, the closest meaning will be soltar la sopa. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Y penny pincher, ¿qué significa? Penny pincher in, in good Salvadorian will be codo. O sea, como ser tacaño, ¿no? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Ah, oh, entonces well, la que dice not willing to spend money. Excellent, very good. <laughs> que uff, hasta humo, hasta humo. <laughs> <laughs> not willing to spend money. Not willing means no estar dispuesto. Not willing, okay? Mm -hmm. I willing. know idioms. Idioms are difficult. I know, and you are okay. making a big effort. All right, so I'm very happy. Gracias, teacher. Thank you. Okay, he's gonna close right now. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>
as always, it is a pleasure to have you here. So thank you very much for being here. Uh, remember, go go to the platform, please. Son poquitos los que me contestan en la platform. Así que go. Because uh, your, how can I tell you? Your participation in the platform is important. Okay? Very good. So have a nice weekend, everybody. Don't go to the beach. <laughs> All right, and I will see you Monday. Thank you very much for the effort you make to be here. Bye-bye, everybody. See you Monday. Bye, Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Have a good night. Bye. Have a good night. <laughs>